this is a VOA vial. VOA stands for Volatile Organic Analysis, okay? Um, and there's two objectives when you fill one of these. One is zero headspace, meaning no air bubbles at all. You're going to have a reverse meniscus on the top when you place the cap on it. Um, and the purpose of that is to make sure that the stuff you're testing for doesn't volatize or disperse into the air. Um, you want it all in the water because you're testing for volatile stuff. So um, that's game number one. Game number two is you'll see there's a preservative in here. This one's hydrochloric acid. We're going to make sure that it um, doesn't displace. Okay, so we're going to carefully pour it in here. Um, when you're doing this from a sample tap, like in a water system, it's a lot easier than when you're doing it as a, uh, from, like a wastewater sample, okay, from a composite sampler. So I've taken my mixed composite sampler. I've gotten a sterile, brand new bottle from my bottle stock um, so that there's no cross-contamination. And I poured my mixed composite into here, and I'm going to use this to pour into here, okay? Um, so, and there's a lot of different other preservatives that can come in these. Uh, not, it's not just acid. You could have dechlorinating agents and things like that. So my first step is to pour it to the shoulder carefully, um, just so long as I don't overflow the bottle. As high up as I feel comfortable. Okay, so there's that. See how high that is? And now I'm going to do the zero headspace part of the sample. So I'm going to fill the cap full of sample, and I'm going to pour it. Right there, you can see we're getting close. All right, there's my reverse meniscus. You see how it's poking out the top? When I place this cap on top, it'll smash it and a little bit of that water will come off the side. That's okay. That's okay. What you don't want is to be like overflowing the whole, the whole container, okay? So I'm going to place that cap on there. I'm going to screw it down, and that's going to push out that water there. And I can see from this vantage point that there's no air bubble. You can't really see because the air bubble would be floating to the top, but I can see there's no air bubble no air bubble. And another way to check is to tap it, tap it, just shake it up a little bit to make sure that no air bubbles are stuck to the, like on the side of the glass that I can't see with the label and the, they should float to the top and I see no air bubble. The lab will throw these out if there's air bubbles in them. Okay. Um, and uh, that is especially important when you're doing drinking water samples that are entrained with air. I have done a lot of those and they are a pain, but um, if you can just remember to do your best to get the, the air bubbles to the top, open the lid back up, and then top your sample back off and you should be good.